One of the top performers in contemporary Christian music is here. Now, she was first here on Home Life about two years ago, and boy, what a difference a couple of years can make. Let me just illustrate. This was Rebecca two years ago. Now, Ralph, check this out. Okay. Here she is yeah. today. Boy, what a wow. day. <laughs> I'll see the whole video just a little later in the show. But in the meantime, Rebecca, thanks so much for being here. Welcome back. Yeah, me. <laughs> Older and wiser wow. and... And has your music changed? Yeah, a little bit. It's real. It's a bit more passionate, a bit more edgy. I'm like singing with just everything I've got, you know. What do you mean more edgy? Well, it's, I don't know. The, well, the lyrics are probably even, even more in your face and more biblical and more challenging to live a radical Christian life. And when that happens, it's like I can't help but just have that real edge to my voice, just like, Oh, that, that one song uh -huh. that was just playing at the chorus, it's just like, God, God, you yeah. know, things we see in our lives, creation and just miracles we daily see can't be explained any other way than God. And I just yeah. have to sing that at the top Ooh, of my we're lungs. Gonna see that. We're going to see that a little later. You know what it sounds like in the music is that, hey, I've got this message and you just sit right down. I've got to tell yes. you about it. And yes. it really comes out very quick. So yes. you, you are going to be amazing how young this young lady is. Tell us how old you are right now. Nineteen. Just, she's just, she's just, a, just a baby. But when you put out that, that first CD, uh -huh. all those years ago, how old were you then? Sixteen. It came out when I was nine. You've really grown up. Yeah, yeah but you I grew think. up. You grew up watching concerts. Uh -huh. I mean, this is not something kind of real new to you. You no. you understood what the business and the concert and traveling mm -hmm. and all that hard life is, didn't you? Yeah, and that was like a neat part of, of God's preparation for us because um, my dad was like a concert promoter in Australia, so he would bring Christian artists to Australia and tour them around. So we, we were around the stage a lot, and that's why it was like a real natural part of our lives. I mean, it, the stage didn't mean anything to me because we'd see it set up so much. Yeah, and, and, that, and that was one of the good things. Huh? Yes, right. because it, it, it doesn't consume me. Consume the stage. you. You yes. can still say, I'm real, I'm here. I love God. I know big thing here, yeah. and, and yet I want something and, special you know what I, for you. You know what I think keeps you grounded? What? Your brothers, your sisters, your mom and dad. Yeah. You, you guys kind of traveled in a little pack, a herd. Yes. Now, your parents homeschool, uh -huh. so your brothers and sisters just tour everywhere with you. Yeah. It's we, do we have a picture of them traveling in a herd? I don't know. We've got or the pack. Back here. Can you have, uh, tell me how many brothers and sisters you actually have. There's a lot. I have five. Yeah. Five brothers and then a sister. So there's me, five boys, and then a girl, and then my parents are with us too. And it's just wonderful. You love having that job. There's a herd. Accountability. Yeah, that's all of us. <laughs> that, that's last year uh, um, on the road together. Let's see what else is around here. Kind of a couple of other people. My mom and my dad. Yeah, they're, they're some of my greatest friends. I love them so much. They uh, they do promotion and every, everybody has a job, don't they, in the family that, yep. uh, on on concert tour? Yep, all the boys have their own job. It's like a real team effort. Well, now that's that's a lot younger, but you were that's two a kids few years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've grown up. In fact, your eldest brother is doing the lights, right? Yes, the he's concert. 17, and um, God has just like totally blessed him, and he's just so creative, and he has like knows all the lingo, like the intel beams and the you know yeah. moving lights and, and that. And there's my mom and I. Mom and you. The double mom. words. <laughs> that, yeah. Was that at the double yes, words? Yes, it was. Oh, that Back was stage. Fun. Yeah. Oh, well, we got, we got lots to talk about here in the next few minutes. Including a brand new product, and yeah. it's not a CD. Well, it is and it isn't. The CD well, one, you well, mean? Oh, no, yeah. no, we can't tell you. No, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm giving it away. Uh, all right, I can tell that we're going to have to do a lot more with Rebecca St. James here after this break, including her new video. God, it's in, in its entirety that we saw just a part of it a second ago, just to kind of give you a little taste bud, something to work on. Well, we're back catching up with contemporary Christian music star Rebecca St. James, whose work has well, really reached a new level of maturity with her sophomore release, God. And here's the title cut. <laughs> Oh, 
Good job. Good job. You want to ask about the CD? Well, yeah, I just, uh, I just wondered if anybody ever said how, you know, that's a little pretentious, just naming it's God. God. Yeah, well, that's, yet. that's what it's it took. It sums it up for me, you know. I mean, that one word says it all. The only reason I sing is, is God in my life, and I, I love him so much. You know, he's my best friend, and he's the one that actually gives me something to sing about. You know, that's why it's so biblical and, and challenging is because... God. I mean, he's what this life's about. I want to ask you about another yeah. new project. This one just blows me away. I love this. <laughs> it's called 40 Days with God. It's, yeah. what, tell me about the, what, what's going on here. Plus, it's got a CD wrong. Yeah. It? Well, it's like a um, devotional journey kind of thing. Uh, 40 days. And God, like, totally worked this out that we were to, to do this. But it has, like, excerpts from a, um, a journal that I've written in over, like, the last five or six years. Anytime God would, like, really teach me something or hit me over the head, um, I'd write it down in this journal. So it has excerpts from that and then, like, questions we can ask yeah. ourselves to get deep wow. with God versus all different kinds of things. Look at it. It'll play, it'll play on your PC. It has video. It has you talking. Uh -huh. Inside is pictures. And a <laughs> tremendous format. 
Rebecca St. James. It's also a big, oh. it's a great big sister book. It is. This is great for young I girls. I hope so. It's about choices as well. Come back and tell us more about that, okay? Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks for having me.